Coming up next, one of our California native oaks that we don't see much around here anymore. There's so much to say about blue oak, I don't know where to start. This tough tree is common in foothills bordering hot interior valleys. Temperatures of over 100 degrees, no problem. Unfortunately, much of blue oak habitat has been lost to cattle grazing and development. A shame since this is a climate change ready tree. Here are some of the amazing adaptations blue oak has made to combat heat and drought. One, acorns start germinating earlier than other oaks with the first fall rain. They don't wait till spring so they can begin developing roots to take advantage of the early soil moisture. Two, blue oaks put more energy into root development than above ground shoot development. Leaves need water, so it's important that the tree doesn't develop more canopy than it can sustain. Three, the leaves have several moisture conserving qualities, including a waxy coating, causing the characteristic blue cast to the leaves. Four, leaves make themselves stiffer by using the chemical components of wood and adjust their internal salt content to prevent wilting. They're actually better at this adaptation than some desert trees, such as mesquite. Five, in a bad drought year, they will drop leaves during the dry season. Blue oaks usually lose their leaves in winter. So the decision to drop leaves during the season when they can best photosynthesize is not made lightly. But again, leaves require water to live and by sacrificing leaves, the trees can conserve water. Even while taking this drastic measure, blue oaks will put energy into filling acorns with stored food so they can survive until germination. Blue oaks can be seen in their native habitat at Joseph T. Grant Park and New Almaden Quicksilver County Park in Santa Clara County.